for one for orange belt. There's a bunch of different wrist locks, okay? And the reason that there's, we do one, two, and three here for you guys. In the event you're in a situation, you have to do this, and whatever one you're work using is not working right away for whatever reason. Then you can switch and alternate to another one. So there's thousands and hundreds of different wrist locks there because you're using the joint, okay? And they work for anybody. And again, this is just kind of instructional, like picture perfect, but it may not be that way if you had to use it. Just know that however you can get to the technique to make it work, it will work for you. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay, so here's wrist lock number one. Joaquin's gonna grab my wrist. What's the first thing that you do whenever uh, somebody grabs your wrist? Who remember? Who knows what that? What you got to do there, Jamaria? Open your hand, sir. Open your hand, sir. Open your hand wide. Yes, big and wide, right there, because you want to be able to get your fingers open and free to use for leverage, but you create tension inside of their grip. Okay, that's step one. Step two, I'm gonna bring my hand up in between us. Palms should be facing towards yourself. So if I can say, hello, sir. If you can wave to yourself, you're doing that correct. That's wrist lock number one. If you're not able to wave to yourself and you're waving by, that's, the di that's a different one. You're doing the wrong one there. So I bring it up in between us. And not only when I bring that up here, does it give me the accurate or the, the correct spot and position to do the next move. I open that grip on his hand up a little bit. So I'm going to take my four fingers on my other hand. I stick them right in between my wrist and his palm. So my thumb is on the back part of his hand. Then I'm gonna pry off, peel off the grip. See, I'm in a perfect position right here. I got my thumb right on the back of his hand. I'm gonna take my other hand and put it in the same spot on the other side of his hand. So my two thumbs are together. Keep his arms straight. And then I'm gonna bend his wrist. Now you see, I had to take mine down, uh, take his hand down a little bit. Everybody's going to be different on the wrist strength and tightness. Some people are very sensitive, and when you get here, you just bend it a little bit, and they're going, ow, 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 ow. Some people are very flexible, and you really have to crank way down on their arm, right? So that's why it takes practice on the technique. You never know what type of person you're going to have to deal with. You understand? Yes, sir. So watch again. One, two, three. Grab on the other side and bend four. Right there. So here's why this works. You got some, you got a lot of nerves in your hands and your feet. Those are the ends, kind of the, the limbs, the ends of your body, right? There's a lot of nerve endings in those specific parts right there. So from the wrist going all the way up, it's very easy to activate and pinch and put pressure to cause pain in any one of those spots on your hand. You understand? Sorry. So that's why a wrist lock like that works. Okay, Jeanette.